I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Um, this morning we're just gonna get caught up on last minute things. We're supposed to be having a guy come over to pick up a ram and my dad just called and he wants to drop in for a visit because he has a new girlfriend. And um, she's just moved in with them. And I guess she wants to see the farm. He hasn't been here for, I'd say, over 10 years. <laughs> so that should be interesting. The first thing that Greet says this morning is Lamborghini. <coughs> Hi, buddy. You're a handsome boy. Cracker just went to see what Arnie was up to. Now Lamborghini's gonna go join him. I'm taking it these guys are really hungry. Yummy. These guys are patiently waiting for their hay bale. Arnie just moved in now. Hi everybody.
add their hay. We pour just a sprinkling of barley on top. This way they can't gorge on the grain. They can root through it, through the hay all day for it. So that way they're getting the same amount of grain, but not all in one big clump. to the coveralls. Uh, Hi, Monty. I'm gonna go in here and let the boys out. So the people come in to get the Dorset Ram just arrived. And um, we decided to, to loan them our old shipping crate for the sheep. Just Thank because, you, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> because, like he made a nice box here, but it was overhanging the truck. And so it was really open. So we thought the ram might be a little afraid in that. So they're just gonna borrow our box and bring it back whenever they're in the area again. That way, he has a safer journey because you know how we are. We're really nitpicky that uh, the rams at least have a good start and a good start means a good trip to their new home. That's what a truck's for. Yeah. It's just that you know if you, uh, the sheep will be in it. But if the box is empty and you have the transport, it's actually for the transport. Well, lift that box to the other truck. It happened to me one time. Oh. Then it ended up right in the highway. Wow. So you got a tie, you know what I mean? It's suction, eh? So oh. you can put one strap right through here, right through the other side, and hold it down. Does that open? So with this, there's, uh, there's some Troy in there. Is there? Probably has the best head. I know a lot of the time. I always like this. I know this. I'm going back to work. I'm going to chase these guys out after you too, so leave it open. Come on boys. Come on. Come on. You're gonna push you him. To pull or? You're gonna pu push take his bum push and push him. him like like your both hands right behind him. That's right. Come <laughs> on. Now he's gonna roll. No, he just doesn't want to go. Come on. Come on. We're not gonna eat you. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, no, no. Wait. So that was couldn't couldn't show too much of that because I had to help push too. But he's in there. They picked a really nice guy, actually. And uh, they'll be back with the box and the halter. They borrowed a halter, too. Okay. I came this way so we could watch the girls come out today. Maybe they want to eat a little first. I don't know.
Hi, Big Betty. Come over. Hi. Haven't seen you for a while. Close up. Oh my goodness. Showing Gladiator off. And he's actually a big baby. He's just nervous that, nervous. that you guys are here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. He's in the lowly, so he's got gray hair now. It looks like, it looks like, uh, looks like, uh, Ryan. These are not uh, country people and really weren't paying too much attention to Gladiator whatsoever. They were more interested in the uh, plastic owls that we had around the barn. <laughs> Poor Glad, didn't get any attention. Yeah, we put them up there to keep the birds away from the drinkers. Alright, for pizza again. Before we get our final groceries for the trip, we have to bring everything with us at this cottage, so we got a lot of preparing to do today. thing we had to do before we went away is to cut some firewood so we could have a campfire on the beach at our cottage. So this is what Arnie's up to this afternoon. So that was an old tree that we cut down from the fence line that had been dead for a while. And now he's just gathering up all the little pieces and putting them in um, their old feed bags for transporting in the truck with us.
And that's it. And we'll probably get there and there'll be a fire ban on. But whatever. It was fun doing it. So this is his drive uh, back home through our fields and I thought I'd just let it run because right now the leaves are changing and it does look so pretty. this firewood in here in case we get a rain because it's been extremely dry here right now so hopefully that turns around so so it's the end of the day we got pretty well everything prepared I think and this is my son Aiden he's going to be looking after the dogs and the cats while we're away and he's gonna be staying here the whole time so that's actually really good because now we don't have to worry at all about the pets is that going to be fun Aiden? <laughs> so Arnie's out there feeding the sheep right now we just had dinner and we're going to call that a day Tomorrow is D-Day and we'll be leaving, so we're going to be filming there too. Apparently they don't have much internet at the cottage, so I might try to scam some internet when I go to restaurants and stuff like that. But um, stay with us and we'll keep you posted. And until then, thanks for joining. Give us a like. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.